Hello, my friends. All right, welcome back to Tributes Trail Talk and Adventures. All right, so in the last segment of the video I did at the beginning of my Appalachian Trail through hike, I'd mentioned a couple of things that I'd get back to you later on. Uh, we'll go back to the trail name thing back at Gooch Mountain, or Gooch Gap <laughs> Shelter. Uh, at that point, I hadn't really had a trail name uh, that had stuck yet. Now, the dog is laying in the shade. <laughs> We're on a hike today. Anyhow, um, I had, uh, my son had given me a trail name, but it was just kind of a generic thing, you know, we had just gotten started and whatever, but we won't get into that. And then there were some other trail names that were kind of thrown out uh, pre-hike pre uh, due to just people getting to know me uh, through Facebook, stuff like that, some of the different uh, experiences and stories shared. But um, when I got to the shelter there, uh, we stayed the night. The next morning, I got to talking to the Ridge Runner, uh, Captain Planet. And she'd asked me some questions, uh, just a different, you know, just small talk about my through hike, you know, just getting started. Uh, the question is something about, uh, was something about something on the trail that was humbling. You know, many of us know that being out on the trail or out in the woods, we, we run across things that humble us. Uh, and I'm not going to necessarily get into the story, uh, maybe another time. Uh, I am writing a book and most likely I will put that in the book. But uh, an experience I shared or had on, on a trail is when I was hiking in Utah, uh, I became part of uh, some hiking groups out there. And I saw a post come across looking for backpackers, hikers, uh, you know, people that could navigate in the backwoods, things like that, because there was a missing trail runner. Um, and I answered to that call and I went to help. Um, and uh, uh, again, I, I, I'm tempted to get into this story, but it's kind of a long story. So I'm just gonna keep it short. But I did go to that call and, and I helped out uh, for a couple of nights and which required me to hike up in through a snowstorm and wind and all that uh, to help search for this trail runner. Uh, to kind of end that story, it didn't end well. Uh, he was found. Um, uh, he was he was found deceased. Um, but uh, that experience had humbled me, and there's so much more to the story that I will share, but just not here at this time. Uh, but it was a very humbling experience. Got to know the parents. Got to uh, know other people. And just what an opportunity to be able to serve, to help another. And all at the same time, those blessings came back to me tenfold. So uh, anyhow, so I shared that story with, with Captain Planet. Um, I was wearing a bandana that said Beast Mode. Uh, she asked me if that had something to do with my trail name. And I simply said no. Uh, I might have been cocky, quite confident at that time, but not to the point where I'm advertising something like that. But it certainly was a mantra that, that became mine. Um, but again, a story, uh, another story that again I'll share another time, but it was about uh, my son's friend in high school. He was the, he was the star wrestler state champion multiple times um, uh, time after practice after practice one night he slid off the road and went into a frozen well not quite all frozen but went into a pond uh, and if I recall he was in a coma for about 17 days um, again this did not end well 
but his mantra was beast mode and he had made shirts and things like that that talked beast mode and, and he just he was a big leader in in high school towards others I'm gonna go down that trail where's that trail go um, and his mantra spread across not just the high school but across the state and other communities you know in the wrestling community um, so we simply we simply supported that mantra or we supported them in this journey now that the, the family was on the loss of their son uh, which is a high you know senior in high school um, anyway I'm not gonna get into all that but nonetheless I was wearing a bandana that they had made and had sold they were selling these things uh, to help pay for costs of the funeral and whatnot so but I took that mantra with me uh, out on the Appalachian Trail so I shared that story and then another story that ended up getting shared was and I, and I forget the exact questions that led to any of this but uh, or at least this one but I also shared that back in 2010 that I had had a heart attack or multiple uh, heart attacks uh, which ended in in just a couple of stints in my main artery uh, and here I am out hiking the Appalachian Trail now uh, at that time you know nine years later it's pretty awesome so anyhow so she shared with me she says I've got a great trail name for you and I says uh, I'm listening <laughs> And she said, Tribute. Tribute would be a great trail name for you. And I said to her, I, I remember saying, but I'm not here for any of them. I'm not here as a tribute to them at all. She goes, no, but it's part of your story. And so I thought about that and it sure was a part of my story. Um, and I held, that, I held that close because all that was humbling and it helped me recognize that, you know, there's some things that happen in life and how fortunate that I was to be able to be a part of that and be in the present of someone else's grief and pain. Um, and not that I could make everything all better, but I was there. I was, I was a part of of that journey that they were on at that time. So uh, I says, okay, I, I like it. Um, so I, I took it on the grounds that people would let me keep it. <laughs> because I wasn't gonna just say, okay, that's it, and start telling everybody that's, that's my trail name. So I shared that with others. And of course the question came up as to why. And so then I would share those stories with them Hey, that's not a trail. Uh, and long story short, it stuck. Uh, so my trail name became Tribute. Or as my tramley or trail kids call me, Papa Tribs. <laughs> oh, I miss those kids. But anyway, you guys, that is the story about, uh, about that. Um, and just kind of a quick side note. Uh, the year after I hiked the, the uh, Appalachian Trail in 2020, I went back out there to do some trail magic. And I happened to run in to Captain Planet. In which I was able to share with her my trail name. That it had stuck. And uh, so it was pretty awesome to see her um, and, and just have that few minutes to... Uh, to visit with her as we were out there helping other hikers. Well, I've come to a crossroads here. Uh, I've got, so you guys know, I am on the Ice Age Trail as I record this. And I'm guessing I keep going straight. Uh, anyhow, you guys, that's, um, I think that's kind of all I wanted to share at this point. And then uh, we'll continue these stories. And and I would appreciate you guys if you uh, would not only subscribe, but make some comments and uh, 
let me know how I'm doing. <laughs> and maybe uh, I'll take questions as well, because I know that in the past, people have asked me all kinds of questions about, about my through hike and even some of the things I'm doing today. So anyway, guys, I am going to get off of here and I'm going to start being in the moment on this hike uh, on the Ice Age Trail with my dog, Baxter Briggs. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Let's go, Baxter.